So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hi there, friends. This is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. You're joining me in the middle of a series called Love Poems from God, where we study um, the voices, sacred voices from Eastern and Western um, mysticism. And so um, we are in the middle of a segment on um, Meister Eckhart. This is actually the last in his segment, and then we'll be moving on um, to a new voice on the next podcast. Uh, But for now, uh, let's read some final poetry, and then I will read a couple of my favorites from this segment. First one is called, It is a Lie. It is a lie. Any talk of God that does not comfort you. The second one is called, The Passion in Her Whisper. Only in a dream could this happen. Such terror that I have seen in eyes and men abusing women and cries from the pores of the sky. So how to wake the sleeping? I was once consumed in thought trying to make sense of a very unwanted experience. When a bird's tune called to me from a nearby limb And this brought me understanding, that audience with love, and the way beauty can let us hold her in mind and arms. The passion in the earth's whisper grew so loud, I woke. Now I cannot deny, all is he. To see as God sees, It is your destiny to see as God sees, to know as God knows, to feel as God feels. How is this possible? How? Because love cannot defy its very self. Divine love will eternally, will be eternally true to its own being. And its being is giving all it can at the perfect moment. And the greatest gift God can give is his own experience. Every object, every creature, every man, woman, and child has a soul, and it is the destiny of all to see as God sees, to know as God knows, to feel as God feels, to be as God is. Love does that. All day long, a little burrow labors, sometimes with heavy loads on her back, and sometimes just with worries about things that bother only burrows. And worries, as we know, can be more exhausting than physical labor. Once in a while, a kind monk comes to her stable and brings a pair, but more than that. He looks into the burrow's eyes and touches her ears, and for a few seconds the burrow is free and even seems to laugh. Because love does that. Love frees. The hope of loving. What keeps us alive, what allows us to endure. I think it is the hope of loving or being loved. I heard a fable once about the sun going on a journey to find its source, 
and how the moon wept without her lover's warm gaze. We weep when light does not reach our hearts. We wither like fields if someone close does not rain their kindness upon us. So fragile as we grow. Someday you will hear all things applaud your wonder. Life claps in awe of the divine's performance. When your veil is removed, you, dear, you, everyone, will see that your being is holy. Raising their children is the primary care and purpose of some. This is a blessed state, for an oasis of love is found in the desert. The heart only reflects the sky when it is giving and compassionate. Who would want to stand before a mirror that was shattered and thus distort our beauty that is so fragile as we grow? An oasis for all life the soul becomes when it is unveiled. Thanks so much for stopping by. Make sure to like and share and subscribe in your favorite medium that you go to for your podcasts. I truly appreciate you.